few months ago, we had a chance to test drive the all new Chrysler Pacifica minivan, and we went on a family road trip. What did that road trip prove? It proved once again that the minivan still is the king when it comes to hauling the family around. It's the perfect vehicle. So how do you make the perfect vehicle even better? You make it more efficient by adding electricity. The new Pacifica is a smart looking vehicle, even for a minivan. The hybrid version doesn't look a lot different other than the unique front grille, the hybrid badging in the back, and of course, the additional charging port on the driver's side. This one is equipped with 18 inch wheels and some tasteful chrome accents as well. Most people are familiar now with a hands-free option a lot of manufacturers have placed in their vehicles where you kind of kick under the rear bumper and the rear trunk or the lift gate opens for you. Well, Chrysler's went one step further. They also have that for the rear power tailgate, but they've added it to the side doors as well. Little kick and it's pretty well foolproof on both sides and you can load in your kids, load in your groceries when your hands are full. The only thing is it doesn't work for closing them. You still have to hit the button. The inside of the Pacifica Hybrid is much the same as the non-hybrid version. Everything is well laid out, easy to reach. This one is pretty loaded. It has heated seats, heated steering wheel. A couple things to note. First of all, the heated steering wheel though, it gets nice and hot except this trim has this uh, metal band on the steering wheel. That part doesn't get hot. So it's kind of weird, you kind of have that uh, fire and ice sensation, hot and cold. So if you're into that, that's great. One thing that I've been curious driving this, I don't know if it's ever happened though, this comes equipped with the electronic uh, gear selector, which is just a knob, and its proximity to the volume knob is pretty close. So I wonder if anyone's ever went and grabbed a whole bunch of volume to turn it down while they're driving and actually went into park instead. I don't even know if it's even possible. I'm sure they have safeguards against that, but eh, I was just wondering. Above that, you have an 8.4 inch Uconnect system. It's the same as Pacifica, except this one has a few hybrid pages as well, showing you your stats. You can change your scheduling for charging, things like that. And of course, with a minivan, everything's all about utility and practicality and storage space. Uh, one kind of disappointing thing that I find though is this large middle console here. It has two cup holders, a flat area on top, but there's no kind of sliding area or a flip up lid for it to hold anything. It does pass through though. So there's things that you can put underneath, but you can't really hide them as well as something that you can actually put inside. In the back, you have two extra cup holders, and you do have ample room on the floor. You have a little section here. Now onto the second row. This is the only compromise that you have for the hybrid version. You cannot get the stow and go for the second row anymore if you get the hybrid version because that well where your seats would actually stow, that's where the batteries are now. So if that's important to you, then the hybrid is not gonna work for you. But if you do want the space though, first of all, that third row does still have the stow and go where the seats will fold backwards into that big well, making a nice flat area. That area is more room than pretty well any SUV out there. And if you do want more room, you can take those second row seats out completely to have a nice flat floor. Maybe you need to make a trip to the lumber store or something like that. As for some nice family features, this one is equipped with sunshades for the back. There's ample room for that second row, especially with two full-size car seats. The seats do slide forward and back, which is a very nice thing. You have built-in bag hooks in the rear of the seats. Really handy for hanging your groceries there. It also has the Uconnect theater. So you have these LCD monitors in the back. They flip up or down. You can hide them. They play Blu-ray. They play regular DVDs as well. You can play games on them that are programmed into the system. So huge thing. If I got this, I'd say I'd want that. My wife says no. Let's get down to the highlight of this Pacifica, and that's the hybrid system. So what we've done, we've had it plugged in overnight, and we've unplugged it. Let's start it up. That's it, we're ready to go. So just like an electric car, you don't really hear anything. You hear a little bit of a, a whir from the electric motor. All right, off we go. 
Now, the Pacifica Hybrid drives very much like an electric car. We're at 100% charge, and by the way, it takes about 14 hours to charge off your uh, household outlet. Overnight is the best. Or if you have a 240 volt system, it takes like two hours. So very, very quick. We have a range of about 62 kilometers, it says on the meter. Now, over the course of a week, I could say I'd average probably about 40 kilometers uh, of electric only driving. So when does that gas engine kick on? Well, this system is meant to be as efficient as possible. So if it needs that gas engine uh, for an extra load, if you really uh, need to do some passing, or if the engine's really cold and it just needs to warm it up or to charge the batteries, it'll come on by itself. But most of the time, when you use it, right off when you unplug it, you just get just what we had there. It's all electric. So we're in full electric. I'm gonna just give you an example right now. We're doing 100 kilometers an hour. We're on the freeway. And 110 kilometers an hour. Now watch the beauty of this Pacifica Hybrid. You can actually see it. And that is, we are in the HOV lane. One person in the vehicle, uh, in a lot of jurisdictions, here in Vancouver and BC, Toronto and uh, other municipalities, you are allowed to drive uh, this plug-in hybrid in the HOV lane, which is a huge bonus, especially if you use this vehicle for commuting. It can save you an hour or more of time depending on where you live. What I like about plug-in hybrids, first of all, they're kind of the best of all worlds. You know, you might not be ready to take that full leap into that full electric uh, car, or you may have limited places to charge it, depending on where you live. That's where the plug-in hybrid is really handy. You can plug it in, you can save yourself a whole bunch of money in fuel costs, but if there's nowhere to plug it, no problem. You can still run it uh, as a regular gas engine, because remember, this is an a hybrid vehicle as well as a plug-in hybrid so um, you still get the benefits of having that electrical system work with the gas system simultaneously saving you more money and being more efficient talking about being efficient where I really find that it helps and I've said this before if you make short little trips for instance I take my kids to daycare in the morning it is 1.9 kilometers each way in my hybrid, when I start the car, that gas engine kicks on, it has to every single morning, and it has to go through a warm-up cycle, even for that 1.9K. By the time I finish going there and back, under four kilometers, it's killed my fuel economy ratings. And if you do a lot of these short trips in your daily routine, and you have gaps in between, so that engine always has to kick on in a hybrid, it's gonna cost you money. It really defeats the purpose of saving money with a hybrid. So this Pacifica Hybrid, perfect if you drive around in the city or within your community and you're doing maybe 30, 40 kilometers a day or less than that. A lot of people don't drive that much. They just make a lot of short trips. And if you can keep that in the electric mode, you'll never have to use any fuel at all, or at least a tank will last you a long, long time maybe even like a couple months. So what is the engine that kicks on if you have to use gas? Well, it's a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine and combined output is 260 horsepower, more than enough. And I've said this before when we tested the regular Pacifica, this new minivan is light years ahead of the previous Grand Caravans. It feels very planted yet it doesn't drive heavy. I love what Chrysler has done with this vehicle. They took the ultimate people mover, the minivan, which is not known for efficiency, and they've made it efficient. And I can see other manufacturers going down this route in the near future for sure. It's great to see the smaller cars get electrified, but these are the cars that really need it because they suck a lot of fuel. So take for example, in one week of driving, we drove about 600 kilometers of rigorous family activities nothing out of the ordinary, didn't go out of my way to charge it. If there was a charger nearby or where we were shopping, we used it. If not, no big deal. We plugged it in at night with a regular 120 volt. And in total, we used a quarter tank of fuel for 
over 600 kilometers of driving. Everyone's driving patterns are different, which is why the plug-in hybrid is great. If you're going short distances, this will work for you and it'll save you a lot of fuel. If you're going further distances, it'll still work and you still get the added benefit of driving a standard hybrid vehicle. Plus you add in the bonus features like driving in the HOV lane, prime parking spots in some busy places, and it still is the ultimate vehicle in terms of practicality. This Pacifica really has no compromises other than that second row not having the, the stow and go anymore. But you can remove those seats if you want a totally flat floor. The Pacifica starts at $56,000, which is not inexpensive. But think of this, there's nothing else in its class. Plus, depending on where you live, you may qualify for some very generous rebates. So good job, Chrysler. You made the ultimate family hauler even better. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.